get a few. Smoking weed by the zip, millions I done made a few. Stay to stay, I'm stacking up and staying out the way. Big bag, I want a big bag. If it ain't Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Pressure inside now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. And he's out. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the getups. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver out. Really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Uriah Primetime Hall. Well, not a ton behind it, but that knee landed right on the target. And again, for the taller fighter, making it look easy as he raises that limb up top. Starting to do some really significant... Oh, what a shot to the body. Has he been shot out yet? He's trying to keep the poke face, but he's hurt very, very bad. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Okay, ready? Uh, you ready? Here we are, early round two. Continues to work the body here. Nice kick there by Hall. All the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Nice body kick. Massive body kick lands. Oh! Oh! Fades upstairs as it lands. Rushed to the land perfect. That is the reaction. Hope to get. That landed perfect in this fight. 
maybe stop very soon. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some... Oh, disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here at the bottom. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Paul gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, he's got him against the side of the octagon. He's got his back. He needs to get his hips in lift and massive turn him so he can start to make it right. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Let's get to the official decision. Here one. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key match. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. 
big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, found a home for that knee. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big body kick landed. Just over three minutes to go now. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Back and forth we go. Alright, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and that is it. The three has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer hit. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight matchup between Kelvin Gastelum and Jeremy Stevens. You ready? I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, huge right hand! Two minutes now to go in round one. Wow, actually got the takedown. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Now he's on top of him. Looking for Do you believe it? That's it. He's done, he's done. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. I don't write rounds, I write checks. Life rewrites a life if the price is it. Coming up.
Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Mark Jacasey and Hennon Corral. exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, the decision Ladies is gentlemen, inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Three minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Henry Cejudo and big boy, Jarzinho Rosenstrom. Now, DC, you know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of 
tricks Let's up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Back to the feet now. Nice punch, man, over the top. When you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your tough. All collar tie. Right hand punch the clinch. And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the world. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, yes, and yes, boy, All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Uriah Primetime Hall and Jimmy Rivera. Oh, 
Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Tommy just landed that beautiful kick right under the ribs. You can see immediately the effect that it took on his opponent as the opponent went back to the edge of the octagon, fell down to the ground, and he finished the fight. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that Tiki. Now we go inside the octagon. All right, coming up next, it's the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just... Oh! Oh! oh what a nice lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Now he has to play one more strike to end the night. Back to the feet. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on Oh, big point. knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect. It's a heavyweight showdown between Mark Jacasey and Michael Bisping. You ready? Mixing everything Whoa! up. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves the moment. Go finish his fight. Trying the flying knee there. Caught that kick there. Oh, high the belt, just like he threw it up with us on Thursday. Catches the kick. Counters beautifully with the takedown. He did a great job covering. He's out! Oh, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, we now go inside the... Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Round one, 
fight is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the fight. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Nice punch by Hall. You see the speed and the accuracy for Uriah Hall. Oh, Superman punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Oh, big knee. We cross the midpoint in round one. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now we've got to go find that follow-up with him. The kill shot is what they call it for going into the fight. All 25 total strikes have now landed for Uriah Primetime Hall. Oh, big left hook there. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Punch over the top. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midst. Oh. Oh. Strike there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or the pops off for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him off. The fight's done. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick land. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Final second to round one. That shot blocked by what a round. So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, second round now. Uriah Hall and Johnny Walker. Hall gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Big head kick. Hall gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh! Now he's on top of him looking for a pin. Oh, he got it! He got it! And he's back up. Trying to hammer that big leg. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. More clinching. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to man. Use her. Serve him up. Go get him. Get him. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches.
just below 50%, by the way. 49% the accuracy rate on the strike attempts against Johnny Walker. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. He'll never be a stationary target. So even Whoa! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 44 seconds of rest. It is a heavyweight collision between Mark Jacasey and Charzinho. Biggie Boy Rosenstruck. advantage as he landed the jab. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Great punch. Rosen strikes lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. It's probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, the ground and pound. That is it! And that will do it! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official. All right, coming up next, what could be a heavyweight title fight for the ages between Uriah Primetime Hall and Mark Jacasey. Diverse strikes. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big 
kick land. Oh, here we go. Sir, it goes into the books as a first round win by knockout, near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him full before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levin has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 22 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by...